Well, thank you very much, Julie, of course, with uh, Alex and Mike of Sky Sports. We are on parade for the Star Sports Derby Stairs A Division. You can see Kira Cairns with Ruby's Rascal, the St. Ledger champion, running out of trap one for Mark Wallace. Russellino Reggie runs out of trap two, led up by his trainer, Jason Bloomfield, the Henlow trainer for the Apollo UK Syndicate. He won the six bend competition here at Toaster 12 months ago, did Russellino Reggie. Plenty of confidence behind the next Greyhound for the Nicely Does It Syndicate, led up by Nathan Hunt. It's the Philip Simmons train, Ridgedale Max, on the back of some cracking trial work. Bubbly Big Eddie, he's a big boy, 34 kilos for Paul Young and the Champagne Club, a syndicate Miriam Young doing the parade. Bangor Ella runs out of trap five for John Mullins, Lee Calcutt. Justin Cranfield and Chris Waters. And Claire's Kyle Torn runs out of trap six, led up by Tony Harvey, husband of June Harvey, owned by June Harvey, the Regency champion Claire's Kyle Torn runs out of trap six. It's a high class lineup for Star Sports Derby Stayers A. Uh, Daryl, I know you've got one or two problems, but you can use Four this. Uh, four to six players, Kyle Torn at the moment, and uh, very, very popular choice, obviously. Welcome for, back, uh, Daryl. I don't know where I've been the last hour, but uh, anyway, I have been here. I've just been talking to myself. Claire's Kyle Torn, four to six. I've done a great job, though. Uh, winner of the Regency. It is 11 to four about Ruby's Rascal. Of course, TV Trophy runner-up and Ledger winner. So some real stars here. Five to one, Richdale Max, who's a fascinating runner, of course, with that great record over the six bends for Phil Simmons, very popular choice at a price. Big price is everything else. That's a Russellina Reggie at 10 to one, who won this race last year, remember? So 12 months on, could we be in for a repeat for Jason Bloomfield and the team? 12 to one is Bangarelli for John Mullins and Bubbly Big Eddie, the Champagne Club members are out in force and they've got a, a whopping price. Greyhounder back at 25 to one. Which way do you play? Claire's Carlton for me on the outside but I've got to take short we've got to take short if we're with June mm -hmm. and Tony Harvey's runner Hobsey yeah we'll still take some winning won't it albeit the the betting suggests that uh, it's trap six who is as uh, we speak four to six with uh, star uh, sports on uh, the board there as people are looking over I can see plenty of familiar faces up the top, even Roger Hart, who's often down here, but he's with the Hoi Polloi at the How moment. How has he of got the night off? That's and unbelievable. He's raising a glass to us. He's very much rubbing it in. There's Jamie from Priority SMS, who do such great work, of course, via the low six, and of course the big cash giveaway, which we are going to do for the next race as well. One or two faces, I think, from the horse racing world as well who uh, I'm sure I've seen Mr. Del Monte. Is that Mr. Bridgewater up there as well? I kind of seem it is. Could well be. It is. Jimmy Austin, I can see at the racing post. Martin Wakefield, of course, who's had Droopy's Jet amongst other Dar Derby finalists. I can see him in the house. The eyes aren't what they used to be. Someone tells me a certain John Clark from The Only Way is Essex is in the house as well. I won't let you know where he is, ladies. We'll keep that as a secret. But we're counting down to the Star Sports Derby uh, stairs. The runners are behind the traps. They will shortly be loaded. I'm trying to spot Steve Nash and I can see him on the second bend there, of course. Greyhound photographer extraordinaire looking and preparing his shots, of course, for Nash PLC, Jim Tate's in the house as well. We should really have a children's race, race six. I haven't had the nod. I think there'll be too many people on the presentation, but we should have, uh, we should. Uh, the, uh, there you go, I think Josh and Miss Collier are kicking on with their uh, libations, but they are going in. Messrs. Lismore and Clark, get away from those glasses of champagne and do some work, boys. And once again, the low six hair is on the move then for this Star Sports Derby. Stay as a favourite in six, Claire's Carlton. Stand by for action. 
Oh, fan racing away, it's five that pops out in front. Bangarella for John Mullins, leads the charge early doors from three up the inside. Ridgedale Max leads around his first bend then. The early pace, Ridgedale Max leads round from five in the second spot. Bangarella two in the third. Then comes the one dog, Rubies Rascal, past the Joe down with a circuit to go. And it's the three dog, Ridgedale Max and Phil Simmons leads by a good four, five lengths now from five back in second spot. Then comes the four dog, Bubbly Big Eddie, down the far side now though, still trapped three. Ridgedale Max, can he last home here? Still the tasty advantage here, approach this now, final couple of turns. Four now is closed in second. Then comes the five, Bangarella approach the final turn now though, still Ridgedale Max led at the first bend, can he hold on? Bubbly Big Eddie's coming for him as is the sixth dog, Claire's Colton, but up towards the jolly old judge it's Ridgedale Max, he's done enough now off this front end, 3-6-4 here Ridgedale Max led at the first turn and stays on well enough to deny the favourite Claire's Colton here, 3 beat 6 in this Star Sports Derby Stayers A, Clark, you called it Ridgedale Max, popular winner for you mate Indeed, yeah, was available at a big, big price early on this morning and was very well supported with a lot of the firm. Star Sports reported good money taken as well on the outside of Phil Simmons. Was backed all the way down, about about 9 to 2, 4 to 1 chance last show, but it was Ridgedale Max who was out-trapped by dogs on his outside, but that early speed, he paced up, he grabbed this race by the scruff of the neck and made all in fine style. He came back to the field, but that was expected, he burned up a lot of petrol early on, but what an exciting charge for Phil Simmons. Only 19 races, that is now win number eight, but look at this early speed, Andy. Yes, yeah, just gets inside Bangarella, was worried about the draw of Bangarella, didn't matter because she popped out in front, but then the early boot of Ridgedale Max has carried him to the corner. He's uh, taken off down the back, stretched a good six, seven lengths clear of the field. It was four, Bubbly Big Eddie moved in the second down that far side, and six has come from nowhere, Claire's Carl Torn. I said it right that time to challenge close home, but it was job done at this point. Ridgedale Max was tiring a little bit and was entitled to tire a little bit as six was flying. Claire's Carl Torn, but uh, he's done enough off this front end as Ridgedale Max for the nicely does it syndicate and trying to fill Simmons from Romford. There is on screen once again a confirmation of the time 41.28. That's not hanging about 41.28, the winning time for Ridgedale Max here in the Star Sports Derby Stayers Division A. He's been on a bit of a roll of late as Ridgedale Max, and he's kept the good times rolling here at Tota tonight on Star Sports Derby final night. Trotting back proudly then to the presentation area, a hard-earned win for Ridgedale Max. Unbelievable, really, when you look at the quality of the field. You know, you've got Cat One winners in there, and he's, he's running ragged, hasn't he? Absolutely he has. I think we're going to have a chance to see this on the big screen. Big man here, what's your name? Kieran. Kieran, of course. Hello, Kieran. You were confident after that trial. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's a dog. It took a while to settle in. He really took a while to settle in, but once he settled in, I mean, he started to trap over six bends, and he's, I mean, he's left of the dead today, hasn't he, really? Very impressive. Fantastic. Roll, roll on the ledger. Roll on the ledger. Guys, you better go and get your trophy. Well done, sir. What's your name? Kevin, first time I've ever had a share in a dog. Keith's been trying to persuade me for about 20 years, so it's not a bad one, is it? Yeah, exactly. He's a good man. He knows a good ground when he sees one. And well done to Philip Simmons as well, because Ridgedale Max has landed the spoils, and and hopefully uh, we will have uh, very soon Wahida's connections as well. They're in the house as well. That's his Oaks champion. But Julie has got Philip Simmons with her now. Yeah, I'm with the boss, trainer Phil Simmons, a fantastic trainer. I'm a big fan of you, big fan of your kennels. You know that, big fan of your young staff, and even more so after that. But this dog looks like it could be one of the best that's been in your kennels. Yeah, he, he, we think a lot of him. Um, he, he showed a lot of potential, but we thought he was a bit young to take the Regency. So we, we laid him out for this race, and it's come right for us. And uh, thank you very much to the sponsors. Fantastic prize for a one-off. Great honour to be here tonight, and great to have a winner. Thank you very much.